What up, y'all? As you can see, it is 4 a.m. and it's time for a nice little midnight snack. I got me some Chinese food, Korean style Chinese food. Uh, I got me some sweet and sour pork over here. And I got me some black bean noodles or black bean sauce noodles. Uh, this is probably the most classic combination of Chinese food over here. Let's start unwrapping this stuff. So as you can see, they gave me a little, little pack, a uh, little coupon. Plastic bag to throw all the trash in. I like that. That's a good, I mean, that's just nice. That's convenient. Obviously chopsticks. And then we have over here, we have some like pickled radish type of thing. We got a couple pieces of onion and some, I'm not even sure what this is actually. I'm pretty sure it's like the, it's like the pure essence of this sauce. I can't remember the last time I ate at 4 a.m. It's been quite a while. There's no particular reason why uh, I'm doing this right now. You can get this stuff delivered at any time of the day, any day of the week here in Korea. Uh, that's just how it, at least in the Seoul, you know? Probably anywhere in Korea if you don't live in the complete country, uh, to be honest with you. This cost me eight bucks, by the way. Uh, that's not a bad price at all, and it's a good amount. This should definitely fill me up. I haven't had Chinese food in a minute, so uh, let me show you what I got. This is the sweet and sour pork pre-mixed in the sauce. I think that's how they usually do it uh, when they deliver, but not always. I'm not sure. I, I don't usually do order Chinese food delivery, honestly. Um, and here are the black bean noodles. You got to mix these up. Let me just do that right now. I mean, this is a, that's a good amount. Like, I think you, some people could just get full just off of this alone. I mean, this is a hefty amount. I don't know if you can really see on screen, but. Yeah, these are looking, looking and smelling nice. In case anyone is wondering, I'm not under the influence of anything except the truth. That's about it. But you know what? I feel like this just deserves a little bit of something. So I got me some soge just sitting in this bottle. I don't know when this is from. But um, this, I don't think this stuff really goes bad. No shot glass. This is just, uh, this is just the true OG style, if you ask me. Mmm. <clears throat> All right, let's get into this. So here's one of the pieces of pork. Unfortunately, probably not gonna be too crispy, but I think some people actually like it this way. Let's try it out. Mm. Personally, I much prefer When they give it to you separate, the sauce and the and the pork. And, and I prefer dipping it actually. Like some people like mixing it. Some people like it soft like this, I hear. But uh, I mean it's all about the dip. Because you got the crisp and you got the, the sauce, like I don't know. It's still good though. It's tasty. It's sweet. And it is sour, but not too sour. That's what you don't want right there. All right, let me try these black bean noodles. Sometimes you can cut them for easier uh, eating. This is gonna be quite a challenge, but whatever. Mm. How to describe these? That's a good question. I don't want to say earthy. If you've never had these, you might be curious. Don't want to say earthy, but 
I might just have to. Because you're not really earthy. I feel like that could be taken in a bad way. Uh, it's it's kind of a deep, subtle, dare I say, umami type of thing. I don't really want to say that either, but... It's interesting. Definitely subtle. Not too salty. Like, not too in-your-face with any type of flavor. Um... And definitely just, yeah, very not, there's no like real strong flavors with it. Which I think is kind of a difference between some of the uh, Chinese foods in America that can be very flavorful, you know. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this don't have no flavor. Don't be thinking that. Mm. I mean, and oh man, for eight bucks, this is a deal. And um, like I said, you can pretty much get this kind of set. This is a popular set that you can get. Obviously, if you want to just get only this or only this. In a bigger size, and like you could do that. They have other things, obviously, when it comes to Korean style Chinese food. But like I said, this is the most popular combo. And like, this is just like, just perfect for one person. Where I'm from in America, they didn't really have, as far as I know, they didn't really have any kind of like. Hmm, this is good. 24 hour, like Chinese delivery. And it is much different. I, I don't know. If you, I, I, I kind of wonder that because anywhere you go in the world, there's Chinese food, I'm assuming. And is it like very different everywhere? Because there ain't really nothing like this. Might be something like this, but not really like this. I don't know. I guess before I came to uh, to Korea, I, I assumed that all Chinese food, except, you know, I figured that Chinese food in China was different. But I didn't. I mean, maybe every country has their own style of Chinese food. You know, like what's Chinese food like in uh, in Croatia? You know, a good question. And is it actually like? Because here's the thing: I feel like there's good ass Mexican food in America. Because it's like right next door, you know? I mean, that's one reason for it. And because, you know, I do have American taste buds. Maybe they, it's kind of Americanized, so maybe that could be a factor as well. But I like to think that, I'm just going to say for my argument here, the fact that it's right next door to America, you can get some good food. Here in uh, in Korea, it's pretty close to China, you know. Fair amount of Chinese people. Does proximity play a part? In uh, in what kind of, the kind of food? It's kind of ripped off from another culture. Like, does that does that play a part? You know, like American style Mexican food. 
Like, does that play a part? Is that a factor? Is that a, is that a big thing? I'll tell you what though, this pork, not the perspiest, but I'm, I do like the texture and the overall ratio is there because sometimes you got this it's, and it's all the fried parts and not none of the pork, so I'm not going to waste my time with all this extra sauce. Or these, really, I don't need these. I do need this, though. I'm just kidding, I didn't need that, but might as well. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this video. Shoot, man. I should probably edit this and try to get it up tomorrow, but I might just go to sleep. So, we'll see. I don't know. Anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this. Before I leave, though, I want to give a quick shout-out to Tio. Thank you for supporting our Patreon, Tio. Really appreciate you and all y'all on Patreon. Thank you for watching. Thanks for the support. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.